really nice to meet you. And you. Thank you for your time today. You're okay, let me see. So how did it feel to have completed your course? Um, it was a relief at the end because it was a long, it was hard going for a while. But now I've finished, I wish I was back on it because I had such a good time and I really enjoyed learning and yeah, it was just fantastic. I made some good friends and um, the trip was wonderful. Lovely. So remind me, what course did you do? What was your latest one? Um, I just completed the LSA Level 2. Um, alongside that, I was doing the um, ADHD awareness and dyslexia awareness at the same time. All at the same time? Yeah, all, all three. Yeah. <laughs> the, the ADHD and dyslexia sort of run back to back, back along, alongside the LSA. I see, I see. Okay. So why did you choose to do that course in the first place? Um, originally, Farrock um, Adult College um, ran a free course in Abbots Hall. Um, for a, it was an um, introduction to LSA course, and I thought, I've got nothing to lose. So I went on it, and I actually really enjoyed it. So then I followed that up with the LSA Level 1, which we also did um, in the school. And then I just just natural progression to carry on and on to level two and everything else in between because I realized whilst doing the LSA that actually it's it, you need to know so much more than just that so I learned all the other sides so the dyslexia the ADHD was about learning every branch that I could possibly do. So what was the most challenging part of your studying? Firstly having the huge family that I've got so I've got five children so finding the time to do the assess assignments and cook dinner and look after them also that was quite challenging because they're really loud um second of all is my confidence is not I'm not the most confident so I don't I don't normally put myself in situations where I'm uncomfortable. So actually walking into a classroom full of people I didn't know, tutors I didn't know, not knowing if I was actually good enough to do the course, that was one of the biggest um, things I had to overcome was myself, really. Um, but once I got started, it was fine. I realised that actually the people are really nice and the tutors are hilarious. <laughs> so it made it really, really easy. You said that um, you, you, worked, you worked quite hard during that year. The tutor yeah. bit quite hard during that year. Yeah, it's um, LSA level two is is a tough course. Um, as well as doing that course, um, I got married, went on a two week holiday, as well as trying to keep up with the assignments to the point where I was still emailing Jill, my tutor, at, on Christmas Eve, to which she told me to go and have a holiday now basically <laughs> <laughs> so that was my last assignment that was my last assignment for that year that got sent on on Christmas Eve so I had a good Christmas after that no more stress <laughs> <laughs> and Jill didn't either because she had no more emails for me till the new year <laughs> that does show a lot of commitment so completing assignments on your honeymoon leading up to Christmas that's that's quite something you know yeah it is important to me yeah um because obviously during during the um, course, I put myself out there. I was volunteering for my local school um, and I actually got a job um, working with some children that had SEN needs, which helped me with my course. But the course also helped me get that job. So I put everything into learning, everything I needed to learn because I owe it to the people, the children I work with really that must feel fantastic actually so you, you've actually got a position a, a paid position out of this yeah and you're able to give something back and, and actually follow a career that's really worthwhile and rewarding yeah it definitely is it's, it was tough doing the course getting a job but it's so much more rewarding than I could ever have imagined they don't teach you that bit but definitely definitely I wouldn't, I wouldn't change it now so just to summarize how did studying at Thurgood Community College help you to achieve your goals? Um, they're really supportive, as I've already mentioned. Um, I was emailing my tutor morning, day and night whenever needed, and she always responded. Um, I found that with every tutor that I had, they were really good with communication. Any worries, they would always support me. Um, if I was stressing, they would make sure that I stopped stressing because I do stress a hell of a lot. Um, just every single thing that they could have done was in a positive way to make sure that any insecurities, any anxiety was covered and I was supported. And I always knew I was going to pass the course because it wasn't an option to fail. 
and I knew that being with the tutors that I was with because they made sure that that was not an option that like you will you will get the best out of this so if it wasn't for if it wasn't for their attitude yeah I, I still would have tried hard but I think they helped that they pushed that that's really good to hear thank you and it's been lovely to meet you and, and a huge thank you. Well done. what an achievement thank you. well done yeah and good luck good luck thank with you. Your role at, at the school